Hey, Joyce. Yeah, so new CDC guidelines have reduced the days of quarantine for a positive COVID case from 10 down to 5. And some school districts, including Seattle Public Schools, um, Issaquah, uh, as well as Shoreline, just to name a few, have adopted some of these new guidelines. But of course, this doesn't come without some criticism. 700 positive cases. That's the jump in COVID-19 numbers within the Seattle Public School District since the last week in December. Franklin High School, Lowell Elementary School are in remote learning due to attendance, and classes at Kimball Elementary School have been canceled since Monday. We had between uh, eight and 10 staff members out every day last week. Katie Rashko is a music specialist at Kimball Elementary School. She feels the district's decision to reduce quarantine time from 10 down to five days was a premature one, even if it's following CDC guidelines. Especially when we see our staff and our colleagues struggling, we have a tendency to come back even if we're not at 100% yet. And that's my concern. Rashko, along with other teachers at Kimball, are frustrated with how the district is handling the spike in cases. We do not feel we are adequately staffed to provide a safe environment for our students. She says last week, 10 educators were out sick without adequate subs to fill in. She added they asked the district to move the school to remote learning, but were met with a full cancellation of classes instead. What is your take on how Seattle Public Schools has responded to cancel school instead of moving remote? I think it's the wrong call for students. Students need to be getting their education and we want to be teaching. I can't imagine trying to teach through tragedy. And that was what it felt like we got too close to last week. And we did reach out to Seattle Public Schools for comment on the situation here at Kimball Elementary School in Seattle, but have not heard back from them just yet. Live in Seattle, Kayla Lafferty, King 5 News.